Hello and welcome back to the Kyle Davis Show. Um, I've got two full-size trailers here. Um, pretty sure it's yogurt. Um, so yeah, I don't really care what it is per se, as long as I'm struck. Because that's the whole name of the game. And it looks like I need to get over. Okay, so. I may be a little late to the bandwagon on this one, but I don't care. My computer, my last computer died on me, and I really wanted to do a video on this, but I couldn't, because my computer wouldn't. It was dead. It wasn't happening. So, AOC has been comparing what's been happening on the southern border to concentration camps to the holocaust to never again what the absolute hell has gone through her brain she is dumber than a box of rocks in fact, I think a box of rocks might actually be smarter than her. She, there, she means she, there is no head to pull out of her ass because she doesn't have a head to begin with. Okay, we are not dehumanizing people. We are not sweeping, okay, maybe in America, but we're not taking them from other countries and saying, you know, you have to live here. People from other countries are knowing what they're, they are willingly and are making the sound decision to cross America's borders illegally. And if they are in our borders, then yes, we will sweep them off the streets and be like, hey, you don't belong here. You know, what the hell are you doing? We are not dehumanizing people. We are not putting tattoos on their arm and saying this is your new identity. We are... Yes. Um, there has been pictures going around of... Um, confiscating, confiscating um, personal items like rosaries or um, prayer items or that kind of thing. But the, the 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 fact of the matter is, when it comes to border control, border security, anything can be used as a weapon. I know it's hard to believe that you could use a rosary as a weapon, but here's the deal. People have made weapons from paper, okay? Anything can be used as a weapon. If there's a will, there's a way. It's better not to take any chances, better not take any risks. I disagree with taking their items, but I get it. And here's, here's the other deal that just came out. It was a DOJ ICE head of security or something from the Obama era. You know, from when Obama was in office. What the heck? Oh, I get it. And, um... Basically what they said is that they were doing this while Obama was in office. They said that they were holding people who have crossed the border illegally since Obama. This is not a new thing that Trump is doing. This is not some scheme or terrorizing whatever. This is not something Trump started. This is something Obama started, but you'll never see that in the news media except for her just, you know, recently. Um, 
when they admitted that this was a Obama era thing, not a Trump starting thing. <clears throat> but here's the other deal that I find pretty ironic is that <clears throat> back when the whole wall thing was around, when the, they were, you know, debating and, you know, Trump's like, I want this much, and the people are, or the other people, the politicians are like, no, that's too much, that's too much. What? Oh, I can't turn there? Okay, where am I going then? Um, I can go around. That's not a big deal. Well, I could come. I could get that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we'll go through here. But um, basically, what in the in the proposal, one of the reasons why Trump wanted so much money for the wall is because that a lot of the money, not all of it, but a good portion of it, would be used to help ICE in border security, Department of Homeland Security. They would have had acts, they would have had um, more food, more beds, more, you know, what more stuff to help those people down there trying to uh, contain the situation. And the Democrats said no. It's like, what? Am I going down here? Yes, I'm going down here. Um, it's like, what? But now they're complaining that they're concentration camps. It's like, what? How on earth do you have the audacity to compare that to a concentration camp when you yourself, the Democrats, stated that Obama couldn't use money to help ICE. Yes, he wanted to build a wall, but he also wanted to help ICE, the people who, the organization that contains those people. And you Democrats, you liberals want to defund ICE. Like what? No, that's not how this works. Basically, what you're trying to do is get it your way on a spectrum in which trying to get your way doesn't work on both sides. Like you can't have one and then ask for the other. Like that's not how this works. But that's essentially what they're what we're trying to do. What they're trying to do. If you go back, go back and look at what Trump's original proposal was like, you know, not original, but like the seven billion dollar one, I think, or the five billion dollar one. He was going to, or the the deal they were going to make. Um, um, the, one of the first, one of the you know, the first couple of proposals, the Republicans and Democrats were doing during the government shutdown. One of the proposals, or you know, within a couple of the proposals that the Republicans had, um, was to give more money to ICE, give more money to Department of Homeland Security. And it was the Democrats who said, no, that is ridiculous. It's like, what? But then when the Democrats came back, they said no money to ICE, no money to Department of Homeland Security. Because they got it through their thick skulls that ICE is the enemy. No. ICE is trying to... Um... Uh, uphold the laws that everyone should be uh, that 
ICE is upholding laws that everyone should abide by, even non-Americans. And that includes crossing the border illegally. If you cross the border illegally, that makes you an illegal alien. You can use illegal immigrant, be politically correct, I don't care. Illegal alien. No, illegal aliens do not have rights in America. Period. I just hope, and, I, and from what I've seen, or at least I think so, Mexico's been doing a fairly good job of trying to help out with the with the immigration. Because before, they were just completely ignoring it. They were completely ignoring the whole situation. And now it looks like they're actually trying to do something to help, which is fantastic. If basically what the Democrats are fighting for is a loss of border, they're, they're trying to completely remove the borders, then what makes, what is America then if you don't have borders, if you don't have walls, if you don't have land, you're just going to let other countries infiltrate it? What's the point of having an army then? What's the point of having security? If we can't protect our own walls, our own borders from uh, terrorists, if we can't protect our own walls from invasion, because that's essentially, this is invasion of, you know, whoever wants to come in the country, how are we going to protect our own homes if we can't protect our borders and I know I've completely lost track of the uh, original topic which was concentration camps but this is not like I said these are not concentration camps we are not dehumanizing we are not performing experiments we are not trying to send them to death camps We are not making them starve. We are not... We are not housing children with the adults. The children are going to completely other facilities. And then that's another issue. A lot of the children who come across with adults are not their parents. Or a lot of parents come look. A lot of adults coming over with children are not their parents. And that's incentivizing human trafficking. Like, uh, no. Like the original, you know, idea was to give asylum to uh, to people who, you know, really wanted it, but now that's gone messed up over. We can't trust anybody anymore. I'm going to have to wrap this up, but I think it's completely insulting, completely inappropriate to call what's happening on the southern border concentration camps. It's, it's, it's offensive to everyone who died in the Holocaust, every single person and everyone who still lives. It's insulting. All right. Thank you for watching. Um, comment if you want. Subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.